Today's question from you is, as an INFP, how do I stop doing things based on my feelings? I used to want to be a robot. I wanted so badly to not have to feel any of the painful reminders of my negative impact on the world. I thought that anyone who got close to me would end up being hurt, and I didn't want that to happen. So I thought that if I was emotionally unavailable, uh, if I didn't make decisions based on my emotions, then the world would be a better place. I was tired of feeling so heavily all the time. I was tired of being so sensitive and having my feelings hurt so easily, and then, you know, having to try to cover them up, which I became very good at. I was tired of falling in love with people that didn't really love me back and feeling that I, you know, gotten my heart ripped out every time that it happened. I thought that if I could just numb myself and my emotions, then I'd be a lot happier and more productive and the world would be a better place. So I tried to be a robot. It didn't go well. I know now that you just can't decide not to feel anymore. But in this video, I will teach you my IPT method so that you can have less emotional reactivity and be more emotionally stable. Hey, I'm Matt Sherman and welcome to Geek Psychology where we use personality type to help us play life better. I finally realized that if you're an INFP, you just have to be okay with your feelings, <laughs> okay? There's nothing wrong with them. They're fine, you are fine, you're not broken, you're okay. The problem is that we kind of, you know, invest so much into it and we haven't really found out ways of using those and utilizing those to help us live the lives that we want to live, right? Emotions, feelings, these are part of what make us special. And it's something that the world needs, especially now. So use them as a guide, let them guide you as much as possible, but also remember that sometimes you do need to do what's right for you even if it doesn't feel good in the moment. So as an INFP, you've probably had a, a strange relationship with emotions, right? You feel so deeply about things and spend so much time trying to figure out who you are and understand who you are and your identity by sifting through all these different intentions and values and emotions and beliefs. Um, but also, you've probably clearly had the message that you are too emotional and you need to suck it up that uh, they're a sign of weakness and that it doesn't matter how you feel about something, you just need to do it. So it's kind of this back and forth, right? And so you probably have uh, a tendency to bottle up your feelings and your emotions, or at least most of them. I'm sure we can't cap all of them in. But when you try to turn off your feelings altogether, well, that's when things get really bad. They find a way to come out somehow. As Shinzen Young said, Pain times resistance equals suffering. And I really think that's extremely clear here. So you may not be able to turn off your feelings, but you can learn to manage them better, right? You need to practice feeling things, processing them, and then releasing them instead of just trying to, to make everything go away. So I've noticed that when I try to do something uh, about my emotions instead of just letting them run wild, I feel way more in control of my life. So here's how you can do it too. And this is a topic that we often talk about in the INFP, I Now Feel Positive monthly meetups. Go to inowfeelpositive.com. Um, and here's a, a snippet of how you can manage your emotions and uh, really become who you are in a better way that's more serving to you and your future and everyone else around you. So let's get into the IPT framework. I identify what you're feeling. Where in your body are you feeling it? If you're if you're feeling some sort of way right now, go through this with me. Where in your body are you feeling it? What color is it? What texture is it? What direction is it moving? Okay, that's I. P, process it. What's it called? Uh, what's the story behind this feeling? Is it true? How does it serve you? How does it not serve you? What will change in your future when you fully understand the lesson that this emotion is trying to to get you to hear and T transform it. Once you have uh, processed the emotion, how can you actually transform it into something else? How can you use this emotion to create something positive in your life and in your future? So my favorite question for this is something that I learned from Eben Pagan. And this is how can I feel gratitude for this emotion? And I know sometimes that's hard. That's, that's hard to feel gratitude for some negative feeling emotion or kind of just some aspect of yourself that you don't like or some aspect of somebody else. But if you can learn to shape your emotions to be an emotion bender, 
then you can actually use these emotions for things that are actually more serving for you and you can have more stronger positive emotion. So through doing this regularly and making it a habit, you can actually start to create a new relationship with your emotion. You can use them to create whatever you want in your life externally. And what happens when you have a better relationship with your emotions? Well, you won't want to stop doing things based off your feelings because your feelings and values are always going to be there and they're always going to matter and they're always going to be a, a guide, like a Polaris star that's going to help you know, direct you, guide you to uh, where you want to be in the future. And if you try to crush them, if you try to stop them, um, suppress them, then your life is not going to be what you want it to be. You're going to be miserable. And I know this from personal experience. I know this from working with clients and stuff like that. It's not the way that you want it to be. You want to have more control over this, right? You want to have more positive emotions so that you can do more of the things that are more important to you, your loved ones, and your future. And if you want some more INFP personality type advice, then head over to, <laughs> I'll figure this out one of these days, head over here to this video for six tips uh, to improve your life as an INFP, where I talk more about how to get all of these different parts of your personality as an INFP working together and use that to create a better life. Good luck, have fun, peace. Oh. Your holiness, your pastiness. Oh.